Welcome to the RIP Charts uh, Basics tutorial. Kind of what we're going to go over today is why do you need satellite imagery? What is it about it that's important? Why are fishermen using it? Um, if you're unfamiliar with satellite images, it's just kind of uh, just a rundown of what everybody's looking for and, and why it's important. If you've ever been offshore, you probably already know that the further you get offshore, um, the better or the more defined those transitions get. We get transitions in water color, um, i.e. as we move offshore, you get transitions anywhere from, from muddy water into green water into kind of a different green water into light blue into a darker blue water. This is a recent satellite image, and, and you can see pretty well that there are quite a few, and this is obviously a little bit of an exaggerated view off of Texas. Um, not every place is the same, and we'll look at some others at different tutorials, but this is a good example of how you've got some dirtier water into, you know, we've had a north wind, so it's dirtied out deep, and, and where those blue water transitions are out deeper. And so that's what satellite imagery does. It allows us to pinpoint those transitions of water color change. Instead of just kind of running blind one direction, hoping that you're eventually going to get to blue water or to productive water, um, you kind of know before you leave the dock. So this allows you to you know take measurements, know exactly where it is, know which direction you're heading, uh, to plan a trip before you even lock leave the dock, which is you know quite a fuel savings. Let's take for instance, um, if you were to leave out of uh, you know the Colorado River here in uh, in off Texas, if you were to run and your plans were to run out um, in, into this area, um, you would just if you ran this direction you're going to be running through dirty water the whole time. So had you seen this image before you left the dock, you would know if you'd run south, you'd be a little closer to blue water or if you'd run a little east. So that's that's important information to know uh, before you leave the dock. And so that's, that's what we're doing. And why are those transitions important? Um, definitely, you know, review the different tutorials. We go into pretty extensive detail as to why those transitions are important, but they hold the fish. So those transitions hold the fish. And, you know, as long as the upwellings and the downwellings are, are in order for you, uh, the fish are going to be there. Now, we don't catch them for you. That's still up to you guys. But we definitely uh, provide you with the tools that allow you to make decisions that will put you in position to where fish are most likely to be um, out on the open water like this. So that that's the premise and the basics of, of what satellite imagery is and what it's used for. It's used to locate uh, the dynamically moving waters and, you know, obviously to make sure the, the water temperatures are correct or the, the clarity is correct for uh, your target species. So uh, that's, that's the basics. And uh, definitely look further into the other tutorials. We go into some pretty good detail um, as to this different imagery and what it's for and how best to use it. Thank you for your time, and I uh, appreciate you looking at the Rip Charts Basics tutorial.